Welcome, folks. Mac T live. That's right. Since I have a little bit of time, I thought I would jump in here and do a Mac T live here real quick concerning a posting that uh, we have some information on. And uh, Mano, as always, has provided me with that information. So we always ask, what are fluid intervals recommended by Ford? And it seems that Ford has exceptions. Yes. And those exceptions may surprise a lot of you as far as what is being put out. And this is, of course, something that uh, we always try to keep track of. And we want to make sure that everybody is uh, online with that. Uh, I do want to let you all know before I get started that I bought the Gulu. Yes. And I will be doing a video on this here shortly. I also have another special one I'm doing because I have uh, winter coming up and why not have that jump starter ready for those days when the batteries don't start, right? And that could be summer too, but uh, we all hit get hit hard in the winter time with that. So the Gulu is a good jump starter. I'll do a review on it, unboxing it and checking it out. And I also have it comparing it to a probably, I think it, I got an old Black & Decker I bought a new battery for. Uh, we'll compare that jump starter to the new uh, high-tech lithium uh, versus the uh, battery, the AGM battery one. So I will do that, and you'll see those videos coming up soon. A uh, little bit of information also. I have just recently ordered the Detroit Axle LCAs for my Edge, and uh, I only got a few more parts to buy, and I will be, be doing a complete front-end suspension rebuild on Lou. That's right. She's getting all new struts, springs, uh, outer tie rod ends, LCAs. Yep, going the whole ball on that. So uh, going to get that all done. Uh, I'll reuse the old Moog uh, sway bar links because they are good. But uh, front end and then uh, eventually here as I gather up more parts, I will be doing a complete rear end suspension rebuild. Yes. Got 250, 260,000 miles actually on loose, so it's about time to give everything a refresh to keep it all going. So, anyway, onward to what we were talking about in our topic. You know, Ford has some exceptions on uh, the normal maintenance schedule. And most of you, unbeknownst, because the salesmen sell you the oh, low maintenance. That's right. Change oil every 10,000 miles or what the oil. OLM says, Oil Life Monitor, uh, that, you know, how many of you think you drive normal? <laughs> About that many. How many are in the severe area? Yeah, woo, lots. Okay, so once I start reading these exceptions off to you and uh, showing you where you're at, I think you're going to have a whole new viewpoint on how am I using my edge and what am I doing and when should I change the fluids because keep in mind lubrication is key to anything for longevity and we want to make sure we have longevity so uh, starting out for uh, normal vehicle axle maintenance yes Ford has put out the rear axles or power takeoff units containing synthetic fluid and light duty trucks equipped with Ford designed axles are lubricated for life. Yes, have we ever heard that before? Okay, yeah, lubricated for life with the exception. Here's the exceptions. Uh, you're not supposed to check them or change them unless a leak is suspected. Well, that stands for a reason. If you got a leak, you probably want to check it because it's probably low, right? So therefore, since there is no way to do the uh, PTO, as they say, uh, without removing it and changing the seals, then you're going to have to remove it and at that point decide if it's a new one or, or you know, you're going to buy, you know, rebuild the old one. But uh, as far as that, uh, the fluid should be changed any time the PTO has been submerged in water. Okay, we know the PTO, we call it the PTU. Okay, so if your PTU has been submerged in water, got to change the fluid. Now here's the problem. 2007 through 2014, we all know, do not have a drain plug. Okay, and I made a video on that. You'll see that up in the card up here uh, as far as a uh, link to that. So you got to change that fluid. So any time has been underwater. Well, what's considered underwater? Well total submersion of it 
okay, or partial submersion is what they're getting at. So uh, if you drove through high water and flooding and it was coming into the car, yeah, I'm going to bet you that you got it submerged. So uh, you have to play that one by ear, but anytime it's underwater, I think we got, what, six or eight inches or whatever it is before it starts touching up in there. So uh, your clearance is going to make a lot to do with it. So, you know, while you're driving through water that high, I don't know. You probably shouldn't on safety reasons. But uh, as far as the axle and PTO fluid should be changed anytime the axle is underwater, and then during extended trailer towing operations that are above 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that means if the PTU has gotten above 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius ambient temperature. Uh, you know, that, folks, this PTU is right next to the, what do you call it, the, the catalytic converter. Yeah, oh, go figure. Above 70? You think that thing's above 70 degrees Fahrenheit continuously? Yes, it is. So, uh, you know, what they're saying here don't make a lot of sense, but that's extended trailer towing. So if you're towing the trailers a lot, you need to change that PTU out as far as the fluid. And uh, for non-synthetic fluids, you need to use change it every 3,000 miles. 3,000 miles, folks. Think about that. You're under your car every 3,000 miles if you're towing. Uh, so, or three months, as they say. So, if you're towing with your edge, 3,000 miles is what they're saying. Uh, as far as uh, anything else, if you're using a 75-140 synthetic gear uh, fluid, meeting the Ford specification, WSL, I'll put this here, M2C192-A, uh, part number F1TZ-19580-B, or equivalent, you should add a friction modifier, XL-3, uh, to it, or equivalent for complete refill for traction lock rear axles, and, of course, refer to your maintenance for that. Now, we don't use that type uh, in our edge, but uh, this is what they're recommending. Uh, for If you are driving your car for Uber, taxi type services, or anything like that, uh, the rear axle maintenance is what we're going to cover now. Okay? So, rear axle. Rear axle. Change the rear axle every 100,000 miles. The rear axle fluid may change may be waived if the axle is filled with 75-140 synthetic gear fluid meeting Ford specifications. Okay? And I believe that's the same specification I previously mentioned. Now, you might want to add a friction modifier if you need it in the back, but any good gear lube that you get, and I always recommend the, uh, the Redline Lightweight Shock Proof, uh, but uh, that and people always ask me, well, that doesn't meet the the spec as far as uh, um, the weight, okay? You know, it don't, but it does have all the friction modifiers you're going to need in there, and it is an excellent oil, and if you're changing it, you want to hedge your bets. This stuff is not any more expensive than the stuff you're going to buy from Valvoline, uh, from uh, Mobile One, or anybody else, okay? This is a good quality uh fluid to add there so the gear lube is definitely going to be what you need but you want to make sure that you do change that out there and again anytime the rear axle is submerged yeah the rear differential is submerged in water you want to do that so let's say for example you have a boat and you launch your boat is your rear axle underwater you betcha so now they're saying that you should change the fluid anytime that axle is underwater okay so if you launch your boat, yeah, every time they're saying, go figure. Uh, but water incursion in there will damage that differential, so you don't want to have there because water is not a good lubricant when it comes to gears. Uh, they also have a few other things like Middle East uh, hot climate specifications. If your operating conditions are normal and you drive your vehicle under a typical everyday condition or use an API performance category or SL or later then you can follow the 7500 mile 
or 12,000 kilometer normal service oil change intervals. This is for the engine. Okay, vehicles operating in the Middle East, North Africa, Sub Sahara Africa, or locations with similar climates must follow the oil change interval of 3,000 miles or 4,800 kilometers if the owner is using oils defined by the American Petroleum Institute performance category of API SK or earlier. For example, SJ, SJ you know, for example. Uh, Ford Edge MKX all-wheel drive vehicles uh, operating off-road in sand during high ambient temperatures must replace the all-wheel drive PTU lube every 20,000 miles or 32,000 kilometers. And uh, that's pretty much it as far as what you're looking at there. So you want to make sure you change it. Now I will add that Ford has done this for the United States also. 20,000 miles folks no more than 20,000 miles so if your dealer is telling you oh it's a lifetime fluid hey right here in writing from Ford it says 20,000 miles and they got it also for the uh, United States they have found out you know the PTUs now what are they doing to cool these things well we also you know I have a video coming out showing a cooling fan mounted on a Euro Edge they also put them on the Ford Explorers for uh, the police editions, and they go one step further in a lot of other things. Ford has done a lot of things to try to keep that PTU fluid cool. All the way from 2007 through 2014, it took 11.5 ounces of gear lube in the PTU. The new ones will take, I think, is up to 21 ounces or so now. Uh, I may be wrong on that. You guys can correct me on it, but it, it is... Essentially what they've done is they've doubled the amount of uh, gear lube in the PTU for the 2015 plus model Ford Edge. And that ought to tell you something. Plus they have been routing uh, coolant you know, to the PTU to try to cool it. They've installed fans. They've uh, got ducts that they've uh, put up underneath like air scoops to flow air to the PTU. Ford is doing a lot of designs. But one thing that is in common for the PTU that Ford has not fixed. And uh, I don't want to be Debbie Downer on this or whatever you want to call it. But the thing that Ford hasn't fixed is the design. <laughs> Think about it. Is the PTU of the same design as it originally was? Uh, they've pretty much kept it the same. They've added more volume to the gear lube. Yes, I'll give them a design change on that. But ultimately, the design I'm referring to is the placement of the PTU in line with the drivetrain. They have not changed that at all, folks. They have stuck with it, and, uh, and it has proven to be uh, an issue. And they're trying to do is they're trying to keep that gear lube cool. So here's the thing. Everybody can say what they want. You can say, well, if you have different tires, it's going to cause heat. Yeah, it may cause a minor amount of heat, but whatever the case is, that thing is plastered up next to the catalytic converter up inside the engine where less air gets flowed. That's right. It's behind the engine. Where do you think all that air flows? It eddies. And if you've ever watched a stream when you got rocks, you got... You got the water flowing in a circle behind the rocks. You got the air. If you ever watch air, it all flows behind and circulates. That air that's flowing behind is hot. It's not cooled. It's getting all the heat that it gets from, and you guys should know these words, convection, convection, whatever it is. When you have an oven, you got a what? You got a convection, okay? That means you put a hot things towards it. It heats up. That's why your oven has a fan to blow that air in there to make it heat up faster because the surface gets heated up quicker and it cooks hotter and faster. And that's exactly what's happening in your PTU. Behind that engine, there's not enough air. It eddies around there and all it's getting is hot air. It heats it up. The catalytic converter, the engine block, everything it's a stagnant air area and that is why your PTU is burning up your gear lube now you saw in uh, my gear lube part where I went and did the filtered uh, gear lube 
and I put it in a, you know, essentially a coffee filter and tried to filter it out. And you saw what that was. And that video is in Mac T Garage. And I'll try to, uh, you know, post a link down below because it's in Mac T Garage YouTube. It's not in the Mac T Ford Edge YouTube. So if you want to see that video, by all means, check it out, what it looks like. And you can see the actual burned up, uh, you know, additives. And you can see where the oil itself is separating from the additives. That's right, folks. The oil is separating from the additives because the additives are burned up. That's what that black sludge is. It still, you know, the oil carries it, like I said in the video. So watch that for me to explain that. But your gear lubes, yeah, they're burned up. And once it's black, it's done. It's oxidized. That's why it turned black. So you want to change these until you start getting a regular maintenance going. And uh, as we all know, everything that gets burned up like that is not going to last long. So you want to make sure you change it. If so follow these uh, intervals as far as changing your gear lube. And I do highly recommend, you know, if, personally, if I had had one, I would experiment with 10,000 miles. I would experiment with 20,000 through oil testing and uh, determine what is the better frequency. I don't have a PTU to do that, and I do, you know, I really, you know, hope that, you know, things come together for me to buy a second gen uh, this coming year. I, you know, if I can accomplish it, I will work on it the best I can. And uh, for most of you owners of second gens, I will uh, get the 2.0 turbo because that is mostly what everybody's buying. Uh, I would love to get an ST, but... You know, for video wise, I just got to stick with uh, what's popular, right? So, uh, you know, you know, my dream is a 2.7, but, you know, it, that's what it is. But anyway, uh, as far as the uh, PTUs go, uh, then I will be able to start doing some PTU videos once I can uh, get myself wrangled around financially. To do that, then uh, I will jump into the second gen videos and uh, we will all have uh, lots of new information on the Ford Edge for the second gen for me as far as videos and I'm really getting excited about that and I uh, can't wait till that day happens but it ain't gonna happen right away uh, as far as uh, videos or anything else make sure you watch these videos and go to MacTGarage.com and uh, check out the oil analysis I think we're gonna be updating that as far as the oil parts uh, oil uh, analysis so because I've done some other oil analysis so that will be updated and uh, hopefully I can update with some parts here in the near future to put my nose to the grindstone it's quite busy for me in my regular life and my regular job so uh, I gotta spread my time out appropriately plus holidays yes yes we got Christmas New Year's coming up and I will be busy so uh, we're going to be doing that. But, you know, I enjoy all of you that watch the, watch it. And if you want to truly help me, if you don't want to donate to help me uh, through my MACT uh, YouTube account or via MACTGarage.com for the donate tab, uh, watch the videos. Give me a little of your time. Watch the videos. Click on a few ads once in a while because that really helps pay me. And it also helps pay for everything because I posted in the Facebook group how much the oil testing cost me without even buying the oils. So uh, it's it's not a cheap endeavor and uh, it, it all comes out of a small budget of the YouTube account. So, you know, I got to be careful what I do, but I still will do it. And I'm doing the Mac T Garage YouTube channel for free, folks. All those videos I need you to watch. I need you to join up on Mac T Garage YouTube, I have to have a thousand members, folks. And there's three thousand of you in the in the Facebook group, and lots more of you watching the YouTube here for Mac T Ford Edge. But if you get me up to a thousand, then then uh, I will meet that plus the views. I'm nearly at the view minutes that I need to be, but unfortunately, I don't have the subscribers, so I can't monetize that channel. So everything I do there is for free. So I have to be careful about what I put in there so I don't harm uh, what I'm doing as far as the MACT Ford Edge YouTube channel. So anyway, the MACT Garage YouTube channel has different videos in it than the MACT Ford Edge YouTube channel, just so you all know. 
anyway, that's my shameful commerce that I'm trying to put out to you all. <laughs> no shame on that. But, hey, it pays the bills, folks. And I don't have anybody donating uh, a lot of money to me. I don't have a Patreon thing. So, you know, I it is what it is and it is what I get. So, uh, that's pretty much it. But I hope you found that information on the PT is very handy. I hope it helps you determine what you got to do. I probably opened a big bag of worms now and everybody's going to complain about it. But, you know, whatever it is, if you do want to get in, get a hold of me, I do not allow comments on my YouTube channels. None of them. Um, I like to talk to people and I like to talk to people that, that want to talk, okay? Uh, so, yeah, I don't allow comments there, but you are more than welcome to join MACT Garage on Facebook or MACT Ford Edge on Facebook. Join there and abide by the kindergarten rules and you won't have any problems. We can rightfully discuss issues and rightfully disagree, but we disagree with respect, okay? Uh, not trying to make it into anything that it shouldn't be. I just want to have friends, and I want to have people and colleagues that, that have fun. And uh, we can all c converse in a civil manner without calling each other names. Uh, yeah, that's, that's just childish. So anyway, we don't want to do that. But I do like the groups. I do like Ford Edge. Uh, I love the Ford Edge. It, I don't know about you guys, but you know I'm approaching 600 30,000 miles or some crazy number like that in combined miles on three Ford Edges. Uh, I don't know who, who likes a Ford Edge more than me, but I drive the wheels off of them and then I replace the wheels and keep driving. So I just want to make sure everybody understands that, hey, maintenance is key and that's what you really should be doing. And uh, of course, at the end of this video, we're going to have all sorts of other stuff. Uh, just remember, join on those Facebook groups and join up on MacTFordEdge.com. Uh, Bookmark that one because that's where you're going to find your oil analysis information in a steady, steady uh, place and also parts manuals for scan information it is your go-to as far as the ford edge information so visit that site regularly and also uh like i said in all my videos my fee at the floor today i have a great day i want you to have a great day band of one is always going to be playing some music mercy grill's got a couple of one-liners for you and i'm going to go out and buy a christmas tree you might even see a little footage on that at the end of this okay fought fought Nissan. Nissan. Audi. Audi. Toyota. Toyota. BMW. Volkswagen. Mercedes. Mercedes. Volkswagen. Toyota. Ford. Ford. Edit. Edit. Taurus. 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 Nissan. Nissan. Toyota. BMW, Mercedes, Mercedes, Forty Edge, Fort, Edge, Edge. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you.